I might be a little late to this, but Google quietly dropped one of the most powerful free AI dev tools yet. It's called Chrome DevTools MCP, an official developer tool that runs directly within your Chrome extension. This isn't just a debugger, it's a full-on AI automation interface for your browser. With DevTools MCP, AI agents can now inspect, trace, interact, and even create directly inside live web pages, performing DOM manipulations, running JavaScript, debugging issues, and even automating browser-based workflows in real time. Now you may ask, why is this a big deal? Well, AI coding agents, any of them like Cursor, Gemini CLI, or even Replay agent, have always had fundamental problems where they can generate code but can't actually see what's happening when it's running in the browser. They're essentially coding blindfolded. The Chrome DevTools MCP server removes that blindfold. It connects AI agents directly to Chrome's internal debugging and automation layer, giving them true runtime awareness. This is where it is able to inspect the DOM and trace live interactions. You can automate browser-based tasks like clicks, inputs, and navigation, run performance and behavior analysis in real time, you can even build and deploy interactive experiences autonomously. And lastly, you can even achieve higher accuracy than computer use agents, thanks to the native Chrome debugging integration. In essence, the Chrome DevTools MCP turns your browser into a live AI development and automation environment. It bridges the gap between code generation and real world execution, and it's completely free to access, which is why I really wanted to put some emphasis and showcase this to you guys. Just take a look at it live in action. This is quite versatile and you can use it in so many ways. This is where it was prompted to open up Google Scholar, search for a specific term, automatically download and save the top five PDFs to a local folder. All done through AI commands, no manual clicking, no scripts. And there's no screenshots being taken by the computer agent. It's honestly well to see because it smoothly works with your Chrome browser. It integrates quite seamlessly. And it's far more accurate than typical computer use agents because it hooks directly within Chrome's DevTool interface. The possibilities for personal web automation, data collection, and AI-assisted browsing are endless with this MCP. And you can see how well it is with this demo. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. And by the way, just an FYI, this is an MCP. For those who do not know, that is a model context protocol, which is an open standard by Anthropic. It is something that lets large language models connect to external tools and data. So with this, it is able to connect to Google's Chrome DevTools with this MCP, and it uses it to give AI agents real-time debugging, tracing, and all the things that I talked about, like automation abilities inside Chrome. And you can use this with whatever AI agents you want. They give you the MCP within this blog post, which I'll give you in the description below. And the MCP client configuration works with all of these different AI agents. You can easily set it up with anything. It's super simple, guys. You can add the MCP with the following command, and you can even configure it within the JSON file, which I'll showcase with something like Gemini CLI, as well as something with like client. So for example, if you're using something like Gemini CLI, which I do recommend because it's completely free to access, you can simply open up your terminal. And if you do not have Gemini CLI installed, it's simple as just running the npm install command. Just make sure you have node.js 20 and above installed on your computer. And then you can run the npm install command, which will then install it to your computer globally. Once that is done, you can head over to the extension store. And the first trending extension is probably going to be the Chrome DevTools MCP. If not, you can just simply search it up. And you can just simply copy this command that will install the extension. And then you can paste that command within your terminal and you can then install the Gemini extension, which is the Chrome DevTools MCP. And afterwards, it'll say that it has been installed. Now, all you got to do is just simply go ahead and open up the Gemini CLI and you're going to be able to access it directly within your terminal. So you can see that it is currently using one MCP server, which is the one that we just installed. And to access that, you have the ability to use the slash command which will then showcase the extensions and list it out. And you can see that the Chrome 
DevTools MCP is active and you can start using it directly. Looks like I need to update it. So I'm going to simply go ahead and do that as well for the Chrome DevTools MCP. And remember, this works with so many different types of agents. Like, for example, if I want to install this with something like Klein, you can go over to VS Code, open up the Klein extension, head over to the MCP servers tab, click on installed and then configure MCP servers and then add the MCP server that we're talking about, which is the Chrome DevTools. And you can simply go ahead and paste it within this JSON file. Now you can use it within whatever extension you would like. I have set it within Kilo code and I can simply go ahead and type in any sort of prompt, like having it check the performance of the actual developer Chrome website. And in this case, I can send in this prompt. It can open up its own browser using the MCP and it's going to be able to coordinate with the AI agent live in action rather than just sending different sorts of individual screenshots. And you can see right here that it is using the Chrome DevTools MCP. While it is running, you can see that it's opening up the actual Chrome extension. And it looks like it has now found the performance of the developer site by talking about the page load performance, the load time, the DOM, as well as the resource loading. And it provided me all the different metrics directly autonomously. So here is actually a really cool demo that I really wanted to emphasize on because this is where it is focusing on stopping the guessing process as well as starting the debugging responsive style, which automatically works with the Chrome DevTools MCP. This is where the coding agent, in this case, Cloud Code, is able to detect the visual bug at a specific device size. It analyzes the source code. It then updates the CSS file automatically. It verifies the fix with the live browser screenshot. And this was all done thanks to the DevTools MCP. So rather than taking those screenshots, this is where it's going to bring real-time AI-powered assistance with the responsive debugging process so that your workflow is a bit more efficient and you save a lot more in terms of your token expenditure as well. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private Discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. In my opinion, this is a mandatory MCP if you're going to be working with AI in terms of debugging as well as using it as a pair programmer. This is something that's going to definitely elevate your workflow. So I highly recommend that you take a look at it with the links in the description below. If you haven't noticed already, my team and I have been constantly posting on the second channel and it's slowly getting traction and people are starting to understand my partner's actual video skills. So I highly recommend that you take a look at them because he does a great job with these different videos. So I highly recommend that you take a look at it if you haven't already. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you join the newsletter. Join our Discord, follow me on Twitter, and lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you'll truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.